Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome. And welcome cross watchers. I'm going to be taking a look at what is going on for you guys in your situation with you and the person that is on your mind. Whenever you come across this reading will be the right time for you to see it. And as always, take what resonates and leave out the rest since this is a reading meant for the collective. If by the end of this reading you're still needing some more messages or confirmation, you can always take a look at your other placements. That's always an option for you. And if you are interested in personal readings, all of that information will be left in the description box below for you guys. Okay, let's see what's been going on for you, Virgo. Okay. I'm seeing that in your past here we have um, the hand of cards. So many possibilities you've been, I see that you've been in your head about a bunch of possibilities here, some sort of risk, take a chance, risk being strategic, options, not showing hand, and gambling here. So I am seeing that you've been in your past really in your mind here. So you've been trying to think about things logically and rationally here. You haven't been very emotional when it comes to um, making a decision, justice here. You've, I see that some sort of truth has come out when it comes to um, a person. So I see that you have kind of released yourself already from something that has been causing fears. You're, you, you're no longer in that place where you have felt fear because the truth has already come out here. And I feel like it kind of, this was something that went in your favor with justice upright. So, but it does look like you've been trying to make a fair decision. You've been looking at all the pros and the cons here when it comes to, um, a risk it's a decision that comes with a risk so you've been very cautious here with what you're investing yourself in who you give to your energy time um, money you've been moving slow so things have been moving pretty slow in the past here um, at a turtle's pace but that's okay because you're being cautious and you're making sure that you don't make a, a, a dumb decision so but I see you there. I see that you have love in your energy. There's someone who you love a lot unconditional love, self love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. So there is love in, in your energy, uh, Virgo. Let's see right now what's been happening. Ooh, 10 of discs. So. You're envisioning like a happily ever after this, this someone or some, someone or something that you see long term with, you see a future with house on the hills, uh, not only love, but security, financial security as well. So I'm seeing that You're no longer doubting someone. There's someone that you're not doubting anymore. Ace of Discs. There is a new start. I see there's a golden opportunity here for you, Virgo. Uh, an investment that is meant to last for the long term. And I am seeing that this is something very abundant. For some of you, there is... Um, an offer, money offer being given towards you that has the potential to be very uh, abundant for the long term for you. And it's something that you really, really love to do. Something that you love to do. Something that you feel passionate about here. Um, but I'm also seeing that for some of you, 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 you have been impulsive in the past here. And this is something that 
I, I see that you've been like looking back at like, okay, let me just slow down again. Let me just stop. Um, it's like you're bringing yourself back to this point where you're not trying to make a, a dumb decision. The hangman reversed. So I'm seeing that you're looking at things from a different perspective now. At one point you were looking at it from this perspective and now you're looking at upright. You're looking... Um, you're, there's something that you're becoming enlightened to. You're thinking about someone a lot. Um, but you're, t you're taking action. You're no longer waiting. The wait is over when it comes to this commitment. But there is someone um, in your energy um, or someone who's on your mind where I see the, there's the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So something is coming to an end when it comes to a relationship. Maybe it's the person on your mind. Or somebody who is in your energy field here. Let's take a look at them. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Um, collaborating. Somebody who's wanting to collaborate. Or somebody who you work with. Or you met through work. I see that this person is... is Gaining some sort of status. They're single now. Yeah, nine of this. So this person is, is single now. Um, they're doing whatever it takes to, to work something out here. They want to work something out. and But I do see that they have fears with the moon. So there's, they are having some fears. And they are a, li they are a little bit disoriented or confused there there's something that they're feeling in the dark about or something that they're keeping secret but i i am seeing that this person is focusing right now on like working working and making money they're getting really busy they're getting things done with the magician so it's like the multitasker here uh but they have taken off these rose colored glasses and ended a, uh, a relationship they're now single and ready to mingle that's <laughs> what I'm hearing single like a Pringle so let's take a look at the near future for you I'm seeing twin flames Yin and Yang, Zen, a balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. Okay, so let's just get into this because Seven of Swords reversed. Uh, the liar is getting caught. Whew, this is going to be very dramatic. <laughs> Someone's going to be very dramatic about this. Emotional even. So, I'm seeing something about integrity. It's like you are, are taking back your power back and what you're finding out, honestly, may, may break your heart. It might hurt. But it's because someone hasn't been completely honest, Seven of Swords. Um, somebody hasn't been telling the whole truth or they were pretending they were lying. They were being sneaky. This is someone who's sneaky, somebody who is just not, not to be trusted, but the truth is coming out now. Um, and this looks like it could be coming from another, um, person, a third party. I'm seeing a third party here. So literally three, three, there's something about a third party in this situation, That you're you're realizing your your eyes are open now. You're seeing things clearly, but this is disappointing you. It's disappointing that this person had to lie about it because it's like you've been trustworthy this whole time. You have been honest and humble.
someone's finding out about another person. In the outcome, I do see that this is something that is going to take time to heal. We have the clock, so we need time. It takes time and time and cycles. Time to heal and progress, but there is a new cycle that I see um, with the fool. It is going to be a very thrilling opportunity for you, so it's going to require you to take a risk. I see you taking a risk towards a new opportunity, a new start, and it's going to be a wish fulfillment. You're going to be very happy and satisfied about this. So you have an offer. Um, you have an offer, and it does look like you're... It's going to be very emotionally fulfilling for you. It's a wish come true. It is a commitment. Four of Wands. Somebody's wanting to get make a commitment to you. Okay. Um, but it is going to take some time with that clock. But there's a new cycle in your outcome where someone's taking a leap into a commitment. It's a, You're taking a, a risk here, but you're trusting your gut on this one. And it is with somebody who you feel like is a wish fulfillment. It is a commitment for of wants, a partnership. So it, it looks like you have a very fiery and exciting opportunity for you. It's a new start. I'm hearing it just feels right. But you're going to take action. Wow. Someone's taking action. It looks like you're saying yes. Let's get um, some specifics for you guys. Okay. Specifics for Virgo. Okay. All right. So I am seeing in your past there's something about money. Um, someone lied about money. I'm seeing that the person on your mind or somebody who you're is in your energy field. This is somebody who you're intimate with or you feel very passionate about this person has a lot of passion for you you could be a young female or somebody who's younger i am seeing that in the next few weeks there's something short term something short term or someone coming in who where things were short term it wasn't something long. It was meant for a lesson. So it does look like you're finding out about something that is going to teach you a lesson. And it's going to make you wiser. It's going to make you wiser with this Ice Queen. I am seeing that you are... This could be happening pretty soon in, in the winter months. So January... Uh, December, January, I said January 1st, so let's say January, stick to that. Um, but it looks like there's someone who you're dealing with who is not meant to be for the long term, um, but there is a new opportunity coming in for you, which I feel like is actually pretty soon, and it's going to be very thrilling. It's going to be very exciting for you, and it does look like you have a commitment ultimately, and you're just going to Go for it. You're saying yes. There's some sort of risk that you're gonna that you're gonna take. Something risky about saying yes. So it looks like you're going in. Okay, let's get a few more cards. Is there anything else that we should know for Virgo? A time to give rather than take. Um, somebody could have been uh, taking more than giving. So it feel, it's, it's like something wasn't being reciprocated. Um, step out of your comfort zone. I see you 
stepping out of your comfort zone and you're taking a risk here. You're no longer staying with what makes you comfortable um, because in the past you've been stuck in it. But now you're, you're getting out of your comfort zone here. Step out of your comfort zone. Changes are going to happen. Adjustments are required. So there's some sort of adjustment. Overall, ooh. Overall energy, luck is on your side. New moon and Sagittarius. I'm seeing Sagittarius here and Virgo. So there, this new beginning could be with a Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. So a new start where it looks like, you know, uh, this risk that you're taking, do it. With that being said, this is what I'm seeing for you guys. If it resonated, let me know in the comment section down below and... If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Bye.